What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the eFootball Universe, Pez Universe podcast. We haven't decided what to call it yet, but welcome back. Wes is back with me today, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Let's get right into it. What is the crack, lads? We are back, and yes, your eyes do not deceive you. He's back. There was a big, well, there was a big uh, petition going around <laughs> to get him back into the podcast after we've we've gone through a couple of disastrous uh, guests such as B Man and B-Man, stuff like that. They just don't compare, you know. Yeah. To the real thing, you know. We had a couple of disaster guests such as B Man, B Man and B Man. But uh <laughs> shout out to B Man for the last episode. But yeah, Wes is back in the hot seat, man. It's been it's been ages, Wes, since we've really sat down and had a chat on the podcast. Um so welcome back, even though you never really left, but welcome back. Um but yeah, how have you been, man? We've got a lot to discuss. I think it's probably been a long time coming because we wanted to wait until there was actually something to talk about and we were both playing the game and we have a lot of thoughts on it and then I've been watching as I'm sure you have as well like the community's reaction to to stuff over the last few weeks as well so welcome back man and uh yeah how have you been how have you been keeping good I've been, I, I've been a busy boy I've been a busy boy ladies and gentlemen if you if you didn't catch my my uh, casting uh kind of uh, almost world tour it feels like uh, going through uh, the Commonwealth Esports Championships uh, in my hometown of Birmingham. Which was oh, he's plugging now. See this plugging. Uh, uh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got to plug. You got to do the plug. And then we had the <laughs> the uh, the eFootball uh, Championship Open. That was that was the weekend after. And I've just not had a, a kind of any time really to settle. Um, and then Konami come out and go, oh, we're actually updating to eFootball 2023 as of yesterday. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, this is perfect timing because yeah, now man. I actually have some time to sit there and, and have a look at it. It, it you know, it, it gives you something to go back to because for, for me, you know, for full disclosure, I had pretty much sworn myself off 2022 mm. because I, I just, it wasn't in a place where uh, I'd, I'd said on, on a previous um, stream that I'd done is that the, the content side of things wasn't for me. There wasn't enough from a, a content creator standpoint to go into. And then from a to assist my casting or commentary, it didn't really feel the gameplay has moved that far from the last two, maybe three years. It's kind of always been roughly mm. the same with maybe little things here and there, but it was always things like double touch. It was always things going for blue, like the, the kind of the almost the, the, the gimme tactics of a lot of players were roughly the same. So from a from an outside kind of point looking in, I didn't really feel like I had something to go towards. At least now with eFootball 2023, now I have something to actually dig at, which yeah. has actually been quite a pleasant and interesting couple of surprises for me. I'm, nice. I'm, I won't lie to you. Nice, man. That's good to hear. I think I think like to get straight into it, right? I've been talking to a lot of people, and I've been talking to a few lads that are like enjoying it, that aren't enjoying it. Some people are saying that it's you know they see no change whatsoever. I personally think myself, and again. This is just my opinion. I think it depends. This update for eFootball 2023 20, is how you play the game yourself is what you're going to get out of this. Because I could see somebody that plays this the same way as they've played PES 21 or the season update and, you know, use the meta stuff, like use the kind of quick counter, like one touch, you know, uh, triangles and stuff like that. that. That work in every football game, let's be honest. That is kind of how you break down defenses on quick counters and stuff like that. And, that's kind of what works, right? Everyone's entitled to play the game themselves. But I think where this is shining for me, especially in the last couple of hours that I've played a few games, is I feel like it's gone back to V1.1 with the kind of out wide possession, slowing down the pace, like, and then accelerating, stopping, accelerating, like, you know, not playing the, not playing the, like, the, the pass that your opponent is like, yeah, yeah, he's going to pass there. And I think that's when the game starts to shine for me. But I could see why people wouldn't like that because it is kind of toned down with the with the stuff that was being working, as you said, for Wes, with PES 2021. Um, now, if you're a beast at the game, you're still going to be able to dominate like no matter what way you play. But I'm talking about for the average player that's like, you know, I would consider myself an average level player that I'm not going to be dominating every game I play. But, you know, I, I got an enjoyment out of winning like 2-0 and then I got the same enjoyment out of drawing three all because I was able, I was in control. I felt like I was like, I made a mistake at the back. I gave him an equalizer. He scored two brilliant goals against me. Um, and I was like, you know, that was a really good game. I felt in control of my mistakes. I felt in control of when I was like, you know, getting a couple of lucky breaks. But I just think that that's kind of, 
that's kind of the thing is that you're going to get whatever you want out of this. Those that didn't like it, I think, are not going to be brought back into the fold. But I think for you, you're a good case study because I think me and you like the same things. We like to play the same type of way and mix it around, like use, you know, manual quick counters rather than set your team to do it. And I think that the game does reward that out wide possession based gameplay. But yeah, I just feel it's less assisted going forward. I have I have a few issues which we'll get into with the defensive side of the game yeah. later on, but that's how I feel about it. I think it's like what you're going to look for in the game. If you're a dribble-centric player playing out wide, not looking for the, the easy pass all the time, I think that the game will be really playable now, even though it still has a lot of issues, like the refs and yeah. the collisions and all that. Yeah. That goes without saying, you know? But Yeah, it's, it's felt as though over the last day or so that if you were to have a positive uh, kind of outlook on it mm. that there is a kind of undercurrent of people then going well it needs modes it needs content it needs this it needs that and for, for me i've seen it on, on my, my timeline i've seen it with responses to me and i'm just like look i've already i've already slam dunked it i don't know how <laughs> many more times you have to slam dunk it or i don't even feel that we need to or that we as a community should be in a position where we go we say something positive, but then we also have to say everything else that's negative that goes mm. with it. But, you know, my my views today, like, for example, you know, I played, I think it's nearly 15, I think it's about 15 games now since they dropped the update. Uh, bear in mind, as a, as a case study and as for, for, for kind of the full disclosure, it's on a PS5, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's the eFootball League stuff, it's not through events and stuff. Um, and... The, the, what struck me as being somebody that was coming back into it after a while was, was it's it's consistently responsive. In the, in the games that I have played, I've not felt one game where I've pressed, uh, and when I mean responsive, I mean input response. Mm, yeah. I haven't once felt where I've pressed a button and it's gone, oh, well, it'll take me an extra second or yeah. so to do it. Instead, it's like, pass, snap. Past. That was a big issue it's at 1.4, man. I yeah, thought it was a huge it, it issue. Was, it, it, was a, it was a huge issue because, again, if you are, you know, playing with say a reduced squad, or if you're playing with a one-star squad, mm. you know, if you're not, if you're playing one-star against superstars, you're going to feel it because you know you will have, it, you know, insert overpowered defender come flying through you, <laughs> and you won't have time to react. You know, there won't be that ability to react to things. So for me, the the overarching kind of positive that's there is the fact that the game is now input responsive online um, i haven't played it offline um i was in i believe it was a pipe stream the other day where he was talking about ps4 users about how there might be not yeah. to say that there is yeah there might be some issues there in regards to some of the older issues have crept back in mm. which again you'd probably again if you're a if you're a software release nerd it, it, you were probably looking at it going well how did that code get back in mm. when this new thing's meant to be developed so Again, that's that's one for the the kind of the, the dev team to look at. But again, it goes back to saying um, the refs are still, uh, you know, they can be very lenient or very harsh depending on what mood they're in. <laughs> the goalkeepers, when when you rush them out, they still stop and look at the ball and yeah. really go out and meet it. Um, there's been a couple of I've seen a couple of video clips where there's been kind of choices of animations that they've 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 shown and it's resulted in a goal, and it, it's. It's almost like they, they have sorted one issue, but there's still several more that are outstanding. Mm -hmm. So if from a release standpoint or from a dev standpoint, you now want to have additional releases, but you don't want to leave them too long. Because again, if you're looking at, say, the competition in the regards to FIFA, they will have a release of something updated. Then they'll have another, third, like it will be you know, daily or, you know, yeah. each day at six o'clock they're uploading content, but they mm -hmm. probably are doing background changes in, in the background. So that's what you kind of want from Konami is going, right, okay, well, here's our big update. Let's try and change the way we work and let's try and go, okay, well, we can do quicker updates, we can do more updates because but ultimately there are still things that are heavily outstanding that do need taken care of, mm. um, you know, uh, and that's not me, you know, that's not me, you know, that's not me ragging on it it's just a, it's a it's a statement of fact you know you can go on to any popular streamer at the moment and you could just go yeah what what's your five things uh that you need you need seen fixed and they'll probably name you the same five things yeah you want, which yeah because yeah, when you're playing the game you know the problems like that's the thing yeah 
Yeah. So it's easy to go on Twitter and, and add to the echo chamber and people are entitled to do that. But, you know, I, I struggle to find some people and, you know, I struggle to see how some people would say that this is basically the exact same experience as we were playing with V1.1.4. Like, I'm not saying that it's better or worse in terms of like, that's personal opinion, but in terms of the actual differences that what I was playing personally for me, the gameplay I was playing two weeks ago compared to what I was playing today or yesterday is, I'm not saying that it's worlds away from what it yeah. was, but it's like, it's very hard to put your finger on what they've changed because it just flows better. Like there just seems to be yeah. less stupid stuff happening on the pitch. Yeah, um, I, think, I think what's what's kind of happened is I think that some people may have mistaken the fact that the game's more responsive, mm. the game the input responses, that means that the game has sped up. Yeah. And I don't think it's the case. I think it's just a case of the game is more fluid. Yeah. Because when you're pressing buttons, you're able to get passes up. And granted, when your players get tired, they they, ha they have those sloppy inputs. But that for me, that's fine. That's mm. part of that realistic, okay, when your player's tired, he's going to take a slightly longer to try and get a touch out of his feet. Or it might cannon off him because he's too tired. That type of uh, kind of, what's the word, inertia or real yeah. realism. Yeah. Like, and, and I think that sometimes we get as a community, we get trapped inside this bubble of it needs to be the most simulated experience that you're ever going to see, where actually the game that's trying to do that, which is FIFA, are trying to go down simulation. So you want to be a separator. You don't mm. want to be trying to do what FIFA are doing no. because you can't match them punch for punch. No. If you wanted to go and make an arcade-style game, bear in mind, whilst I was on this kind of little break, I went back and played kind of PES 5 and PES 6 against my brother on an old Xbox 360 mm. that he had lying around. That they weren't they weren't drenched in realism because as we said before, you know, you you could go into the shop and you could have, you know, turkeys and, and penguins running around your feet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. they weren't drenched in It's a different time, wasn't around. it? Yeah, it was a completely different time. But my point my point is is that the it, they aren't always drenched in realism. And I think there needs to be that balance between the arcade style of football, which is too fun to play, because again, as we keep saying, video games are meant to be fun. Keep it fun. Try and have some of those simulations. And I think I think that's that's not really helped with football either, because there's so many different ways to win a football match. You can mm. park you can park the bus and you can play ninety minutes of the most dross football <laughs> and still win one 0 Or you could be on the flip side and be four 0 up after thirty minutes. You know, yeah, it, it, it's it's too. That there's so many different ways to win a football match. That yeah. how do you decide what's realistic and what's not? You know the old the old adage where people used to say about um, you know that it was used as an argument before where it was the the Barcelona v Celtic game where Celtic won I think it's two 0 with Tony Watt scored mm. and they had like what they had like twenty eight percent possession and everyone looked at you know and if you if that happened to you in a video game you'd be sitting there going well that's scripted yeah that's awful but, uh, what do you mean I had I had all the possession I had so many chances. But it's a point, you know, the same with, you know, when I when I ax, you know, uh, kind of conceded very late on to Spurs in the Champions League semi-final, mm. or when Barcelona lost it at Liverpool, or there's loads of different points in footballing history where you go, actually, that if that happened in a video game, you'd say it was unrealistic, mm. so it couldn't happen. Yeah. You see, you put that, but but those types of events do happen. I, I do, yeah. The, the, the argument that comes with that, though, is that they're once kind of almost they're, they're almost once in a generation types of events. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't happen all the time. But so when you break it down like, over the course of like, if you're sitting yeah. down to play like ten matches in a, in a day, you're going to see stuff happen. Like, whereas that's oh, ten of weeks of fixtures in the Premier League. I was going to say it's it, you never in that method you're never going to please anybody. No. which is which is the which is the, the quandary that Konami do actually find themselves in is that they're not going to please every player. No, and the thing is, until the offline modes come out, the offline player yeah. base are going to pay absolutely zero attention to any of your promo tweets, any of your promo videos, any of your trailers of looking at us. We've got Inter and AC. All it's just going to be is when's Master League coming out? When's yep. Evo coming out? When's all this coming out? And, and rightly so, you know, it, it's, it, you know, we've said it before about how much time it took for this game to get out of here in the first place. Mm. We're now still waiting even longer for, you know, for the D, for, for essentially what is now going to be DLC. And again, if I am, um, you know, your big wig sitting at home and reading Twitter and reading Instagram and reading Facebook, DMs, all the other things. 
I just hope that it is taken care of and that they, you know, you do get a fully fleshed out master league, that you yeah. do get a fully fleshed out edit mode, that you do have the ability to to do everything that you should be able to do within a uh, an e football title. You know, that's that's yeah. the, the the quandary. So that's kind of me being a little bit kind of like presumptuous of the future. What I wanted to kind of just draw back to was some of the little little kind of I wouldn't say they're quality of life additions, but they're certainly little things that I found kind of thumbs up mm. filtering system yeah the fact that now when you go onto the player list you can now filter for uh rating or star rating your yeah. player makes it a whole lot easier you can filter by position like properly you can there's little quality of life things that they've done about the fact you can now delete squads out yeah rename them and stuff yeah it's cool um which is really good uh, again but you know as on the flip side of it we are commending them for stuff that probably should have been in the game in the first place yeah right? It, which, it depends what know, way you look. If you if yeah, it's, yeah, if you want to be glass half full, you will see them as oh yeah, fair oh, enough, comes edition. up like yeah, yeah, cool. But yeah. if you're glass half empty, you'll say this is a disgrace that it's taken yeah. nine months to to yeah, get this stuff in. So it depends yeah, what sure. what side what what side of the the coin you want to be on, and that's yeah, everyone's yeah. decision. Like I I I got into it with a guy on Twitter the other day, and he was saying <laughs> really you yeah get, you get oh I get into it no. yeah, oh I knocked no. some heads, but I I was just saying to him like that. It's very hard to get your point across on Twitter anyway, but I was kind of making the point that eFootball is not Pez, even though for all intents and purposes it is. It's the continuation of the series. It's the same teams, the same dev cycle. It's the same kind of issues, the same good stuff, the same bad stuff. But the way that they're looking at it is that eFootball is strictly at the moment uh, an online centric mode like that's what it is like eFootball yeah. at the moment is basically dream team they could have brought out dream team 2023 and dream team 2022 and that's what it would have been do you know what i mean so like it is it is very difficult for those that are not happy with the current situation and i don't blame yeah. anybody that is but the fact remains is that it's kind of like it's kind of a hard one for konami because at the end of the day People are downloading the game. People are playing the game. People are buying the packs. People are supporting the model that they've done it, either deliberately or else out of the fact that they just can't let go. You know what I mean? They're yeah. they're they're logging in to get their free coins. They're logging in to to do their events. Yeah. Um, we, we said it before. Which yeah, is, it's, it all adds up to the data that they are probably monitoring. Yeah, and, you know they'll probably look at games by games, the time spent in the game. Uh, you know, amount of coins spent on there. Point uh, our point about some of their events again, uh, are putting coins kind of back into the accessible yeah. events is great. Yeah. However, the amount you're putting them in that is silly. You know, yeah. Putting fifty coins in is like. Mm. Although yeah. one of the events you have got is you can earn yourself a player of the week. Which yeah, found, you can. You can get a free found, free five. I sir. found I found incredibly uh, kind of satisfying because I was like, as if that's not what some people of us or some of us have been asking for, yeah. which is actually have the ability to earn your players yeah granted it's only one but even so well you get a four star more, as well it's one more no no this this is for your actual worldwide players oh yeah That's yeah but you so, can get a you so get a five star, star nominating contract yeah. and four star as well so you can get three yeah. really good players so have, like yeah so you have the, you have those two contracts and then you have a, a, a once you beat the event i can't remember which one it is but you can have the player uh, a player of the week mm -hmm. one as well you yeah got a chance to deal like that which again i found satisfying because i was like oh actually that's again something that has been asked for it yeah make it make it make it so that so, there is some stuff that's earnable the the like i said the the, the quandary now is is that it needs content within yeah it. so you know it need you need to have a reason to come back and play it so as much as i've enjoyed the gameplay i'm still sat here with my pre-order of fifa going probably still going to play fifa because it's going to have it's going to have more content mm. it's going to have more of the content that i want that's not to knock anybody that that's that's, that's still playing the football but uh, that will continue to play football but that's just a personal choice of mine like, yeah that it's just it's gonna have it's gonna have more to do on a day-to-day -day basis it's gonna have more to do mm. because as i said konami are rooted almost in this thursday and monday yeah release cycle. that's their cycle like because they're stuck in it and nobody out there or at least the the, the people who make the choices <laughs> are actually probably even challenging the dev team to go well, actually, can you move this? Can you actually try and do something where it's daily? There's no, there's no challenge there. And the thing is, every time that there is a is a release, they have to set the game offline in the wee hours, just to make it, just to make it work. And it's yeah. like, well, 
again, even you know, it, it it shouldn't it shouldn't be that much of a labour. It shouldn't be oh well, we've got to take it off for six hours yeah. to to make something work. You know, and 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 you've got to believe that there is a better way of doing things if you are Konami. So that's 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 where I'm at as a player. As much as I've gone actually, the gameplay is starting to look okay. Mm. The, the the one phrase I have used over the last couple of days is we are seconds from disaster, realistically, because it will take one release the wrong way and the gameplay goes back to kaput and it and it and it, and it wrecks itself. But we see yeah. that we see that with gaming. So as much as this is now being lauded, at the time of recording, this version of eFootball that we're seeing is responsive online it is in terms of your inputs yes all right there are there are pitfalls but on the summary side of it it's responsive it's it is for me it's fun to play yeah it at is, this yeah. point but i know that if i play it for a prolonged period i will probably find the the the, the kind of the, the the additional things that we mentioned earlier as issues within the game so it's only because, as I said, I, I've been kind of always marking it by how many games I've played. Yeah. So bear in mind, this is me after 15 games. Mm. My opinion after 50 games might be totally different. Yeah. My, yeah. My, you know, and, and, and that's that's the nature of gaming. Exactly. Yeah. But you do start to see the issues. Like, that's that's yeah. that's never... It's like you're kind of like chasing... You're chasing that all the time because it's like, when is it, when is it going to be a case where I just get, like, you know, tired of this or I start to become... The issues be, start to become too you know, unsurmountable that I don't really want to go on because I know I'm going to be triggered by something that happens that you're kind of already looking out for. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, if you see something and it's like, oh, the AI has a really bad, yeah. like, you know, glitch here or a bug here, or this is obviously something they need to fix, but they're not going to fix it for the next, until October when the yeah. next update's going to come. Like, then you're kind of going into matches waiting for that to happen so you can kind of like subconsciously complain about it you know and that's just what happens like when you when you start to lose games like i had a match before we came on recording this and i beat a guy five nil but the game felt it didn't feel as fluid as the other games that i played i think there was an issue with the connection or something and i said it i, I like i was doing a live live recording and i was like even though i'm beating this guy five nil he had like a terrible team he had a couple of defaults in the team i said you know i was never, never going to lose to him because like his team is just like too poor for it to compete yeah. with me up front with Romario and Lewandowski and them. But I just felt like it's easy for me to overlook these issues and not mention them in the video I'm doing because I'm beating him so easily, like yeah, I'm beating yeah, him five yeah. nil. Whereas if I was losing to him two nil yeah, and I'm raging, it's, it's it becomes yeah, a big, a big thing. So it's, it's, yeah. it's harder when you are winning and things are going well for you. And then you have people that will say, you know, that we suffer from Stockholm syndrome where we're like, you're accepting a product that you wouldn't have accepted like last year. But then I would have, like, I would say that if we could rewind in a clock and go back and capture in a vacuum what people were saying about PES 2021, they were pre pretty much saying similar things because they didn't like PES 21 either. Yeah. And now that it's like when you say about PES 5 and PES 6, I went back and played PES 13. I played a full Master League season in it. Sorry, and yeah. I couldn't end it quick enough, man. Like, it's just so <laughs> limited. Like, now, brilliant game for the time. It was it, yeah. probably my favorite Master League experience in terms of the logic of the transfers and the gameplay was fine. But, like, I was like, there is no way that I could play another season of it, uh, like, compared to me actually yeah. have, spending my time playing eFootball. Because it's just so labored. Like, it's just, you know, you've eight directions practically that you can run in like you're turning on a six pins there's no inertia yeah. there's no weight there's no fluidity um and i'd say that people that are like oh you know pen six is the greatest game ever it was for the time but yeah absolutely yeah, gaming yeah, has moved would. on like you know that's yeah. just the way i look at things now yeah i i'm i'm, I'm of that opinion i love that opinion of yeah do you know what game game because you know from as i've said before we we are we are now turning into our dads <laughs> we are the, we are yeah we are as, we are as, as we get game, older as we get older we're turning into our dads going ah oh, do you know what you should have seen it when it was like this mm. we should have seen it when it was iss pro evolution 2 they were the days like do you know what i mean yeah. like and then you know what like you know when our kids grow up or our, our you know our, our kind of our theoretical kids grow up <laughs> they'll, they'll they'll then look at it and go ah oh, do you know what PES 2016, that was the one. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's so, chasing yeah, the dragon. Be, that's it, what you're doing. It will be. It will be forever that kind of way. Like, it, it it's so, it's so, it's so kind of strange mm. to, to know that you know because the time will just march on. Yeah. You know, it, it, and I, I think I even said it on the stream the other day. I was like, realistically, 
I'm 32 now. I shouldn't be sat here playing video games. <laughs> Realistically, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't. Yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing any. I should literally be. Where's put down the controller? You've had enough. Like it's fine. Like you shouldn't. Like you just shouldn't be playing video games anymore. Like the amount of times that my dad turns around and goes, uh, "Do you not get bored?" Like, <laughs> no, not really. No, it's quite strange. But it, 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 do you know what I mean? Like at yeah. this point, it's like you know what? I probably put the controller down. And it's yeah. It, it's it's that's more of a statement on gaming than it is on on anything yeah. else really. I think I think for for kind of a, a closer for me, like it, it was. I think the people who wanted or at least were interested enough for them to see what changes there were, they would see the differences that were there from yesterday. Yeah, I think so, man. Yeah, definitely is a great point. I think I think if you if you were coming in with the mindset of I've given up on the series completely or I've stopped playing it, I've moved on. Or do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I essentially played it for research purposes, in all in all honesty, because I, I just went I'm not going to come onto a podcast and so, oh, do you know what? I haven't played it at all, guys. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, yeah, you know, for research purposes. And I was like, well, actually, this is actually playing okay. And, you know, yeah, all right. It's not, it's, I took myself out of it and went, okay, this isn't FIFA. It isn't anything close to the previous PESIs. Take it in isolation as though it was a brand new game. Mm. As in, like, that was the first day of its release. Forget what's happened before. Yeah. Forget that stuff. Because that's how I had to try and review. Because if I had took my angry view, for for those who have long time <laughs> listeners and viewers of the podcast will see me turning red when it was me, you, and Sep all those all those months back. If I'd have still had that viewpoint and then still tried to review this now, I'd still be sat there going, "This isn't the game they promised. This isn't this isn't right. Where's yeah. the messy from the trailer? Yeah. Where's this? Where's the full game? Blah blah blah." And, and I'd be there, and and I'm never gonna. I'm never going to be able to sit there with objectivity and go, okay, I, I can give it a fair shake. You mm. have to almost, each release or each version release, I almost have to wash my kind of memory to go, okay, just forget what's been before, try and take it in what it is right now. Because mm. again, if I then try and go, oh, well, it was better back then. The problem becomes then is that back then may not never, it may never come yeah. back. That's, yeah, sure. that's know, the way the it for example, the PES 2018 beta, those kind of phantom versions where mm. people go, it was so good. It's like, yeah, but you're never going to get it back. Yeah. What's been and gone has gone. They're not going to yeah. go, in 2022, they're not going to go, oh, oh, you mean that PES 2018 stuff? Oh, sweet, <laughs> we'll, we'll get that code and we'll put it in and then that'll be fine. Like, yeah. it's not going to happen. No. So you have to kind of take it in isolation of what it is. Yes, is it an unfinished game? Yes, absolutely. It is an unfinished game. Right, there, there's no getting away from that. Mm. Does it have all the game modes that it should have? No. If you reviewed it from a, a gameplay standpoint, has it improved from its last release? Yes, but not in a not in, in more in incremental steps. Than it yeah, it's it's a else. small small update. Like, but I think yeah. that's the thing, man. Is it's it's maybe a bit of acceptance has creeped in, you know. And I always like to listen to people when they give it, you know, they give feedback or they criticize or whatever. And I like to, you know, I don't like to dismiss it like straight yeah. away. Um, but I would be very, you know, comfortable in my own opinions on it. And it always comes Same. back to me that like, I just, I just would not waste my time doing a podcast or do like the proof has been there. Like go back and watch my YouTube series or watch my YouTube channel and look how much content I put up with V1.1.4. It was barely anything because I wasn't enjoying the game. And I just said, lads, like I'm finding this hard to yeah. play. Like I'm not going to come home from work after a stressful day we haven't done the podcast in weeks. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah, nothing stopping us true. from doing the podcast and coming on and having a bitch and a moan. It's just that the enthusiasm wasn't there, like from me or from you. So it's like, yeah, it's very hard to fake yeah, it when you're not enjoying nothing. the game. Yeah, it has absolutely nothing to those who are enjoying it because, again, we talk about quality data. The, the, the snapshot of people who are on Twitter who are liking tweets and retweeting stuff, what it's about i think i've seen at the most that on something where people, somebody's put something out to go oh this is this isn't good enough it's about 180 likes on twitter mm. right how many people have downloaded this game in, in its 20 plus million yeah 20 plus i'd say it's across not, every... it's not even a drop in the ocean yeah and then and then people then look at it and go oh well that uh, you know well, why why hasn't change happened you can see that we've done this i mean it's the same god love them i i, I appreciate their effort with bringing pez back petition like mm. i know that that's been doing the rounds 
but he, it's it's one that's not going to come back because they're quite clearly set out where they're going with this game. Yeah. And, and two, when you look at the level of signatures <clears throat> that are on it versus the amount of users who are still, as you've said, logging in, playing the game. Even if you're playing the game, you're putting up, oh, look at this terrible clip or look at this terrible thing that's happened in the game. That's still a game that you're playing and that's still time yep. you're spending in the game to get that clip. So realistically, you've given them every single metric that that yeah. you would perceive that, that Konami wants. So, you know, I just, I don't, the the the, the, the chamber of people who dislike the game, mm. it's a drop in the ocean compared to the actual player base. Yeah. I still, like, I still think everyone is, into, like, they are right to put their feelings oh. across. I mean, oh, yeah, I don't absolutely. have to interact yeah, with people. Right. I can, you know, I can mute people on Twitter. Everyone, you know, people can mute us on Twitter or they can unfollow yeah. and, like, whatever. And, like, I appreciate everyone that does follow us, whether they agree or disagree. I'd always go back and forth, forth with somebody, even if they're being highly critical or they're, they're, they're kind of saying things that aren't 100% true. I always go back and forth with people. Like, but at the end of the day... They are entitled to have their say, but yeah, there is a large portion of people that are enjoying the game and yeah. that are liking the game. There is a, there is a, a portion of people that are despising the game, but the people that are despising the game, a lot of it is that they're still, as you say, Wes, they're still talking about it. Do you know what I mean? They're still engaging with us. They're quote-tweeting the official Konami account saying, you know, where's Master League? And it's like... You know what I mean? It's like, just move on. Like, it, if it's it not adds, for you. And it's yeah, hard. It, it's hard. I understand yeah. it's hard it's because it. it's been your whole life of a, as a fan. But yeah. it is difficult, man. It's a very difficult one because, as you say, nobody is going to have a disagreement if they're like, pay, like, eFootball is, like, not a good package. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, I agree it's with like, that. Like, I agree yeah. with I agree with saying that. Yeah, it's yeah. not good that's, enough that's in 22 to have yes. what we have for eFootball yeah. as the continuation of the Pez franchise. Of course it's not. Like, it's 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 but, nowhere but near where we'd want but, it to be. Yeah, but but that's the problem. we can that's only talk problem. about what's out yeah. there. You know what I mean? We yeah, can only exactly. analyze exactly. Dream Team, like, and that's that's it, you know? Yeah. And the packs and, and that. I mean, yeah, they're not... That's, 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 the pro- that's the problem, is that, it, like I said at the start of this, if you were to if you're to post a positive opinion or post even a vague positive of the series, you then have to then quickly follow it up with mm. by the way, here's all the things I don't like. Even if you've already gone over it several times, yeah, videos, of times. in podcasts, in streams, in whatever, you still have to back it up because again, the first comment from my tweet yesterday where I was like, Oh, actually, you know, two or three couple of games in, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, I'm not gonna do the whole <laughs> oh Pez is back, the king's here, blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna do that. I'm literally gonna go, okay, I'm gonna play a couple of games, see how it goes, then I'm gonna play a couple more, see how that goes, and 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 lead it on. And the first thing I got was, oh we you know, we need we need, you know, content and, and game modes. And I'm like, do you know what? It just goes without saying now. It literally goes yeah. like, without saying. So we saying. all know that. Like, Everyone knows I, that. Like I haven't got 280 characters on Twitter to be able to turn around mm. to and go, this stuff's really good, but also here's all the stuff. That's yeah, of course, of course. Because if, if, if I was to do a TLDR, right, you, you'd, you'd be there for hours reading the stuff about the stuff that I would like in the game. Like, mm. the, there's too many things. So, yeah. you know, as much as I would love to sit there and go backwards and forwards with people on Twitter about, oh, this is, this is how I feel. I feel like I've got to broken record territory. Yeah, it, but that's what long form media is like this. Like we're yeah. able to come on and talk for 40 yeah, minutes and fill hundreds of tweets worth of, you know, characters or whatever, where we're actually speaking everything direct. Like it's not edited. It's totally unfiltered. We yeah. say something stupid. We just have to own it and get yeah. clowned for a couple of days. Like, you know, if we say something that we contradict ourselves or whatever, unmeaningly or not meaning to... We, we have to own it because it's pretty much a live platform here. But uh, on the other, on the advantage side of that, we're able to go into points that you're able to fully get like your point across and so that nobody can question where you're coming from or what it is. It's like, well, this is exactly how I feel. But it just comes to a point, a, a point in, the, in the, like, you know, part of the debate. It's like, we understand and acknowledge every bit of criticism that comes towards the series as fans because we have every single one of those criticisms ourselves yeah but it's just that we are finding some enjoyment out of it that you can't quantify what i find enjoy enjoyable it's the same way as we've talked and i've repeated myself hundreds of times before if i want to come in home after work and sit down and watch love island and somebody wants to go in and sit down and watch breaking bad you cannot compare the quality and the difference in quality 
But if I'm getting as much enjoyment out of watching Love Island as you are as getting Breaking Bad, I could care less. Now, Breaking Bad is probably my favorite series of all time for anyone complaining. But I'm saying I could care less if the show has 50 Emmys compared to Love Island being absolute, like, just complete trash TV. But if I'm getting out the escape that I want out of it, and it's the same with gaming. You know, if I want to go home and play Red Dead Redemption and be like, oh, this game is unbelievable. Look, it's fully modded. It's fully everything on my PC or whatever. Yeah. Compared to playing Fall Guys. And it's like, oh, you, why would you waste your time playing Fall Guys? It's a game for kids. And it's like, but I'm enjoying it. That's what gaming it's is same, meant to be it's about. The same, it's, the same you know? vibe when I, it's the same vibe when I tell you that I've had a job of playing Fortnite and you go, why are you playing Fortnite? Yeah, man, I've been judging you. No, exact, I've never it's judged it's you. Exact. It's just the no, building no, in Fortnite. No, I hate but, the building. No, but that's what, that's what I mean. It's a, it, that's, the, that's the difference. Yeah. It's like, I enjoy Fortnite, you enjoy Warzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, you know, it, yeah. it's not a... It's not that big of a deal. Folks. No, like that's it. That's that's kind of you know that's that's our kind of job. So I think that pretty much wraps us up. Yeah, man. Baz, I think it was a decent little. Uh, that's a decent little game. rant and a debate. Um, of course, my my job, which was not fulfilled by uh, by B man. Yeah, of course, we so needed to get the A team in. For not for not wrapping up a podcast correctly. <laughs> um, so this this will be available on SoundCloud, on Spotify, uh, on YouTube. Uh, basically everywhere you can get your podcasts really yes um you know so obviously if you want to watch the video drop us a comment drop us a like drop us a follow you know all the good stuff he's been the midnight kid i've been wesley fc and we will take care and see you guys soon. see Thanks you later so. boys good luck